25 Money Watch. Money can be an issue in most marriages. A new study finds that couples that argue over finances once a week are 30% more likely to get divorced. Joining us this morning is Joe Burt from Certified Financial Group. Last week, we did the top five mistakes. We're going to finish with the next five, but you want to kind of uh, summarize what we talked about the first time. Well, around. the number one issue from last week is communication. There's a lot of things that revolve around it, but if you can't lay the things on the table, discuss it, you really have problems. Okay, so we're going to start with number six this week. Right. Being secretive, so you're hiding what you're spending oh. or not talking about your debt. Oh, yeah. You know, you go out and buy something, and then you don't tell your spouse about it, and all of a sudden that bill shows up. And well, and then and then what if, what if it's something that, that can be concealed, like jewelry? Yeah. You know, expensive watch, expensive ring, something like that, and it shows up, and you haven't discussed it. Yeah. That's it's a, a fight. It's a fight. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. number seven. This one's a big one. Lending or borrowing money to family or from uh, family and that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, you start borrowing from parents or from siblings, all all of a sudden that you get that extra family into your your private life and all of a sudden you're dealing with in-laws sons-in-laws brother-in-law sisters-in-law want their money it, yeah try to stay away from that because that is really a, uh, not a good idea and it's a touchy subject too, oh, very much because some people want to come to the rescue of family members yeah. but you sometimes just have to say no yeah it's the best thing to do to say no yeah sometimes it's the easiest way to get the money right but in the long run it can really cause problems okay number eight believing you need to split up financial responsibilities traditionally what do you mean by that one. Well, traditionally, I mean, the traditional way is the man brings home the money and the woman spends it. But that's wrong today. I mean, we know for a fact, oftentimes, the wife is the, the major breadwinner in the family. Okay. So don't think about that. You know, the man feels responsible. He's good. To, you know, back from the caveman days, he yes. went out and killed it. The wife brought home and, and cooked it. Right. Those days are gone. You need to understand that, that women and men play it play an equal role in the marriage. You need to decide who's responsible for what and then work out that plan. Okay. And the number nine, failing to recognize that money matters carry emotional weight. Oh, yeah. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're when you not doing the right thing with the money and you, you, you really messed up, yeah. you feel like you failed in the marriage. And right. that's not a good idea either. And then emotions get out of control sometimes when you have these fights over money. Oh, yeah. People say things they don't mean oh, yeah. and, and tempers flare. Yep. All right. And number 10, finally, uh, not enjoying your money together. Yeah, you know, you, you have our money to enjoy, and if you can have those enjoyable moments, whether it's a vacation, whether it's dining out, whatever it is, you agree how we're going to spend the money, and those create memories. But if you're spending money on yourself on your own, it's not usually a good idea long term. Okay, so the big key for, for everyone is communicate. Communications. In any relationship, it's always communications. Always. And money is a tough thing to communicate about, but if you don't, it's not, you've got a recipe. It ruin your marriage. Divorce, divorce city. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Joe Bird, thank you so much. You're welcome, Lauren.